In a possible future, only decades away, Project Starshot, a flotilla of a thousand spacecraft, will depart from Earth. This part of the Atacama Desert, west of the Andes Mountains, is so dry that it hasn't rained in recorded history. And that's great for us, because we're going to need the clearest of skies. when the first life left the water for the land. There was nobody to file a report when the first birds took to the skies. But this is one great leap that will be documented in every conceivable way. The whole world is watching. We are, after all, sending our first craft directly to the planets of another sun, the Alpha Centauri system. These are the ships that will carry our senses there. These are interstellar sailing ships, propelled by light. Their hulls weigh but a gram, and they are no larger than a pea. And yet, they're equipped with all that NASA's Voyagers have, and more. When the first light blasts forth from this phased array of lasers, the spacecraft will accelerate from zero to 20% of the speed of light in mere minutes. Inside each nanocraft is everything needed to perform the preliminary reconnaissance of the worlds of another star and return that visual and scientific information back to Earth. Space is mostly empty but there are tiny dust particles that could wreak havoc if they were to collide with nanocraft traveling at such high speeds. That's one of the reasons we need to send so many of them. Voyager 1 is traveling at 38,000 miles per hour. It left home more than 40 years ago. It will take these nanocraft only four days to overtake her. That's pretty fast, but still only 20% of the speed of light. Proxima Centauri is four light years away. That's a 20-year one-way trip. 